Which of the following is not made from grapes? Is it A, port? Is it B, cognac? Is it C, brandy? Or is it D, calvados? Welcome back to that quiz show. I'm your host, Lauren. The answer to our multiple choice question is D. Port, cognac, and brandy are all made from either grape juice or grape skins. Calvados is a type of French brandy, but it's made from apples and sometimes pears. If you had the correct answer, give yourself some fake internet points. In this morning's video, I gave you five questions about cocktails and spirits and five classic cocktail recipes to decipher. If you haven't seen the first half of today's episode, then click up here to watch the questions video first or we'll have to cut you off and take away your keys. Without any further ado, let's reveal the answers to this morning's trivia. Question one. What famous variation of the martini was popularized by James Bond in Ian Fleming's book, Casino Royale? This cocktail is known as the Vesper, named after Vesper Lind. This character was played by the stunning Ava Green in the 2006 Bond flick, Casino Royale. In case you're interested, here's Ian Fleming's original recipe for the Vesper. Three ounces of gin, one ounce vodka, half ounce Lillet Blanc, garnished with a lemon twist, stirred, not shaken, and served up. Question two. To be legally sold as bourbon, a whiskey's mash must contain at least 51% of what grain? The mash must be at least 51% corn. The whiskey has to be aged in new charred oak barrels and it must be made in the USA. Contrary to popular belief, it does not have to be made in Kentucky to be labeled as bourbon. You can find excellent micro distilleries making bourbon from all over the US. Question three, a credible story regarding the origin of the word cocktail states that it was a mispronunciation of the French word coquetier. The French word coquetier translates to egg cup. Legend has it that the word cocktail originated in New Orleans. Antoine Peychaud, a pharmacist, served medicinal concoctions made with his namesake bitters in egg cups. Tipsy patrons confused the name of the vessel for the type of drink, mangling the French word coquetier into cocktail. Question four. In which year did prohibition end in the United States? Prohibition in the US, the period in which alcohol was illegal, lasted for 13 years from 1920 to 1933. Question five. What alcohol popular in the Czech Republic is known as the Green Fairy? That of course would be absinthe, the high proof, emerald colored, mildly hallucinogenic spirit flavored with anise. For the next five questions, I gave you recipes for five different classic cocktails and you had to name the drink. Classic cocktails are often based on a simple ratio of two parts strong, one part sour, one part sweet. Using this formula, you can make a huge range of different cocktails or make easy swaps for the recipes below with what you have on hand in your liquor cabinet. This could be essential information while you're sheltering in place this winter, you might need to get creative. Let's review these recipes and see how cocktail savvy you are. Question six, this is the recipe for a Negroni and they're delicious. The striking red color of the cocktail comes from the Campari aperitif. Campari was originally produced in the 1870s and the red color came from the carmine dye, which was made from cochineal beetles. It's produced this way all the way up until 2006. Question seven, if you ID'd this as a Manhattan, you are absolutely right. One of the most iconic classic cocktails and one that was made famous by the 1959 Marilyn Monroe film, Some Like It Hot. Question eight, that simple tasty concoction is known as a gimlet. It's also sometimes made with vodka instead of gin. I generally disapprove of vodka in cocktails, but if you like vodka, you're welcome to be wrong. Rose's lime cordial is also a common ingredient for many gimlet recipes, but snobby bartenders with suspenders and too much mustache wax tend to avoid the high fructose corn syrup in this mixer. Number nine, this would be a Sazerac, which according to cocktail lore is likely to be the first cocktail ever created in America. It was first mixed by that great grandfather of cocktails, Antoine Peychaud, the New Orleans pharmacist who is the namesake of Peychaud's bitters. It may have been what he was serving in those coquetiers. And our final question of the episode, question 10. This bubbly tincture is known as the French 75. And if anyone tells you it's a girly drink, you can tell them it was named after the shells from the 75 millimeter howitzer field gun that was used by the French army in World War I. That brings us to the end of our answers for our cocktail episode. Let me know your score in the comments. How many fake internet points did you earn? If you've enjoyed tossing back a few rounds of trivia with us, then please help out by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. You can now find us on Twitter and TikTok at That Quiz Show. You've made it to the end of this episode, and here is your bonus question. What common drink mixer originally included quinine to help prevent malaria? It also glows under blacklight at a club. What is this mixer? Leave your answer to the bonus question and your overall score in the comments. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you again soon with a fresh set of questions on That Quiz Show.
Thank you.